Hey everybody, it's Isabel Marie here coming from the bus stop waiting for my son to get out of school so we can go have a little bit of fun. Today my video is going to be about something I heard recently that struck me very, very, very much to my core. It was about purpose and passion. And how in life we have to find our passion, our purpose, and then go from there. Because a lot of people get stuck in this rut where they don't really know what they're doing. They don't know really know what they want out of life. They don't know really know where they're going. And I heard something that really struck me the other day. It's uh, a woman by the name of Joyce Mayer who had said, you know, if you do your passion, if you, if you do what you're passionate about, you will stumble upon your purpose. But if you force a purpose, you will never be passionate about it and you'll never ever look like you're actually enjoying life or having fun or being happy. And when she said that, it made a lot of sense because a lot of people go out there and force themselves to be in the job, force themselves to be somewhere in life, force themselves to sustain a life that's not them. You know, they're not passionate about that, you know, and yet the best times we've ever had in our lives was when we were younger and we were very passionate about something. You know, my passion is helping people, but also my passion is modeling, you know. So for me, I really need to go out there and rather than fall into what a lot of my family said I couldn't do or what I wasn't worth, I had to find my own way back home and I had to find my passion and, you know, helping people, being with my son, being a mom, you know, um, showing people how to do their makeup or um, doing my Zango business, uh, doing my modeling, that's what makes me passionate. And every day in my entire life is like so great for me, not because I have the perfect days and I never get hurt or I never fall. You guys know I can fall, um, like I showed you in the last video, but it's actually more about me being able to enjoy every day and do what I do because I love doing what I do. You know, I love working from home, but I also, you know, love going to Barnes & Nobles. You know, I can make a whole event out of it. And uh, to give you guys an example, I was cleaning my van out today and I was going back and forth, you know, carrying things and stuff and I, one of my last loads out, the sprinklers go on, you know, and I was getting wet and stuff and I could have let that stop me and I could have been like, oh, you know, it really sucks and, you know, I'm so mad because I still need things, you know, to bring things for my car and stuff, but instead, I was like, okay, well, let's just go with it, you know. I, I took my cell phone off, I took my earpiece off, and I went downstairs, and I got, you know, the last couple of things really didn't need to come out at that moment because they were papers, so I could have waited. So instead, I just, you know, closed up my car door, and I decided to go running the sprinklers, you know. Not running through them, but, yeah, I just went through the sprinklers, walked through them, kept going back around and sitting down on the grass with all the sprinklers, you know, getting me wet because it was very hot after, you know, doing all the, the work I was doing up and down the stairs and jogging and everything like that. So I was really hot anyways. And it was really nice just to sit there and enjoy the moment. And I know my neighbors probably think I'm crazy. I make a lot of these videos or go down the pools and stuff. But I was very passionate about just making the best out of what is given to me. You know, and when you start to reconnect, I sent out a bulletin that said, you know, I want everybody out there to send me the 10 most things that they're, they're their passion and they love to do in their life or like the little traditions you you learned growing up because I want them to put them together and remember how it was to do those things you know we forget as parents that we're very crafty and very creative when we've done like a lot of you know Girl Scouts or Boy Scout things and we haven't passed those on to our kids yet because we're so busy trying to support our kids but it's like you know when I showed my son how to make a s'more oh my god he loved it you know so it's like like Joyce had said Joyce Mayer she said if you do what you're passionate about. You will stumble upon your purpose. I'm passionate about my son. I'm passionate about helping my, you know, son grow. I'm happy. I'm passionate about helping people. And now I've stumbled upon a way, which what I'm doing right now, making a video on how to share my passion and how to share my leadership and share my, my need or my want to help other people. You know, I'm sharing it with you guys because I found a way to do that. So, guys, the moral of this story, the moral of this video, is to go out there and find your passion. You know, if you're uh, a stay-at-home mom, get out of the house. If you work all day long from home, take three days off. Shut the phone off. Shut the computer off. It'll get, be there when you get back, so don't worry about it. And go on and do something fun. You know, run through sprinklers, um, catch a, a lizard or catch a, um, a butterfly with your kids, blow bubbles. Or if you don't have kids, then go out and get a manicure or pedicure for your girl. Or go, you know, fishing if you're a guy. Take your, your nephew or your neighbor or somebody. Volunteer your time. Just go outside, there, outside yourself and be passionate for once. You know, if you're sitting in front of your computer right now watching this video, 
that's great but how many times do you sit in front of your computer and watch things or check emails and stuff guys that's not what life is about don't you guys remember when we were little we used to you know collect glow bugs and we used to sit on the, the corner and, and play hopscotch or you know what happened to those things you know what happened we just became so you know mundane about life guys we really need to wake up so guys if you want to find me Send me a message. Catch me at www.myspace.com forward slash miss ms underscore izzy i s s y. This is Isabel Marie coming from my car at the bus stop. Gonna make some videos today for you guys, and I just want to let you guys know: go out there and be passionate. You'll find your purpose, and when you do, just keep going from there. Don't ever look back. I think a lot of people are stuck on the past, what has happened, or the future, what may happen one day, or what could happen, instead of just living in the moment. So, www.myspace.com forward slash miss ms underscore izzy issy. You guys have a great day. God bless. I can see the bus. Have a great day. Bye-bye.